Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about shaving your face. So if you are interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I mentioned these razors in one of my videos. I think it might have been in my March favorites. And you guys said that you wanted an updated how I shave my face video. And so that is exactly what I'm going to do today. I have been shaving my face for probably like three to four years now. And it's such a game changer with how your makeup goes on, how your skincare goes on. So I figured today I would show you exactly how I do it. It's been about two weeks since I did it last. Your hair does not grow back thicker, darker, longer in you know, more of it, literally nothing like that. It will grow back exactly the same way that it does. Um, originally, I just have some peach fuzz, so I am gonna take my makeup off, but I figured first I would show you guys the razors that I have been using for years are these. They are the Tinkle razors, and I actually just switched for the first time ever, and the new ones are so much better. So I switched to these. I also get these off of Amazon, uh, and you can see they look very similar. They both come with this protective cover on them, and this is what they look like. So they're just a straight razor. I have never personally used a razor with multiple blades on it, like something that you would shave your legs with or you know, your man shaves his face with. I've never used anything like that on my face personally, but I don't know. I wouldn't recommend that just because I don't know what that would be like. And I like to only go over each spot one time. So I don't know if you would have multiple razors going over it. These are so cheap that I would just go with these. So the first thing that you do is wash your face. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my face and then I will be right back. Okay. My face is nice and clean. I took my makeup off and then washed my face. So I did double cleanse and it's nice and dry. There's nothing on it. So I personally like to do this at night if I can. I have done it in the morning and then you can put makeup on right afterwards. It's not a big deal, but I personally like to do it with a clean face at night because then all of your skincare just soaks in so much. So this is both going to remove the peach fuzz, but also exfoliate your skin. It kind of gets rid of that top layer of dead skin. I'm sure there are tons of different ways to do this. This is just my personal way of how I do it and the directions that I go in and kind of like the tips that I use. But if there's something else that works for you, by all means, do that. So I have my razor. And what I like to do is I will hold my skin so it's nice and taut. And I just go in, definitely avoid your hairline, your like sideburn area. You don't want to accidentally shave off hair that you want to keep. Um, so I kind of hold my hair back and then I just go in small motions down. And when you get to your eyebrows, be very careful. You obviously don't want to shave off your eyebrows, but you can go all the way up to your eyebrows and you almost shape them with this, which is nice. So I just do the same motion all the way down and on my eyebrow or on my forehead I go down. I can see the peach was falling in front of my face right now. So that's my forehead. And then I'll also go between my brows. So I just kind of pull one brow and then go to the side when you're doing areas like this be very careful because you can remove hair, more hair but you cannot make the hair grow back and then once i'm done with my forehead area i make sure all of the hair that i want to keep is behind my ear as much as possible and i just put my hand over my head kind of pull my skin back this way and i shave going towards the center of my face not away so again just those same motions and I'll kind of move my hand down to keep my skin nice and tight. So you can see it's just the same motion over and over again. Like the amount of peach fuzz on here is insane. Hopefully you're able to see that. I try not to go over the same area again. So I've already done this cheek. So I don't want to go over this cheek again 
unless you have to. For my mustache area, I kind of almost put my lips in my mouth to hold it tight. And for that area, I go down. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on this side, tucking my hair, of course. And then I'll just hold my skin back. And again, I'm going to the center of my face. And I'm holding the razor, I'm not holding it at a 90 degree, I'm kind of holding it at like a 45 angle against my skin. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's like picking up, it looks like a dust bunny. It's gross, but also satisfying. And then for my chin, I will hold, because I want to get right at my chin line, so I'll kind of hold the chin um, skin up and get the bottom. And then I go into the middle and into the middle. And then in the middle, sometimes I, I will go down a little bit. These new razors do come with this little protectant thing for your eyebrows. So you just slip it on and then you can still see the blade right here, but the rest of it is covered. And that is for your eyebrows. So you can go in and kind of clean up your eyebrows without getting your eyelashes. So my other razors that I've used for years did not have that. These ones don't. So this is what I've been doing for the past like month or so. Uh, I don't use this all the time because sometimes I'll just tweeze the hairs that I want to get rid of. But you definitely can clean up your eyebrows very easily this way. And even if you want to do underneath, like right here, um, it's easy to not <laughs> accidentally shave off your eyelashes or like the rest of your eyebrows. So I'll just hold it up and then go right underneath or clean up right underneath. And this will help you get the tiny hairs that are hard to tweeze. Um, but I don't use this all the time. I do it probably like once every other time or every third time. Now I will just go in with all of my skincare per usual. And then tomorrow I'll wake up. My skin feels so soft right now. So my makeup will go on nice and smooth. And then I'll repeat the process in about two weeks. It literally only takes maybe three minutes. It's not... A long thing at all and the razors are so cheap that I think everyone should do this if you haven't tried it I highly suggest it it's not scary it sounds scary but it's not um, so yeah I will link these down below if you're interested they are way 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 better than the tinkle razors which I've recommended these forever because I really liked them I had no idea that there were this amazing of a razor out there for this so that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful for you and you got a tip or two. Um, let me know down below if you also shave your face or if you're interested in it. Let me know if you try it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.